On the top of my door, black smoke just filled my ceiling and all of a sudden it was choking me. Jeannie Sarah Kelly said she called the fire department and by the time they arrived minutes later, flames had quickly engulfed the seven-story co-op. The blaze went to four alarms, bringing out more than 100 firefighters. I had just gone to sleep and all of a sudden I heard me. The fire alarms were going off, helping the door and it was just smoke, which I inhaled <laughs> and it was very difficult very difficult. Everything's gone. Firefighters made dramatic rescues of people hanging out windows. They performed CPR on one man pulled from his burning apartment, but he did not survive. 41 people were injured, including a number of first responders. The way that this building is situated just made it very difficult for us to fight this fire. We were unable to get any kind of ladder trucks up into the front of the building that would have aided in, in the rescue. This is my apartment down here. Jeannie Sarah Kelly had difficulty calming her special needs son while trying to evacuate. Police had to help. They had handcuffed my son. The cop carried him in the waist and another fireman was behind him and the other two firemen held him and he got out. Some residents of the Mona Lisa apartment complex managed to retrieve some personal belongings during the day, but not much. The building sustained serious water and fire damage. This woman managed to rescue her pet turtle. I'm alive. That's my birthday gift. Yolanda Emery was one of the last to be rescued. Water damaged her digital lock and could not get out of her apartment. At first, I had just laid down and was like, okay, is this how I'm going to go in my apartment on my birthday? So I'm on like, this birthday. is, yes, this is what I woke up to. And I'm just grateful that God kept me safe. Everything else is replaceable. Well, that's the right attitude coming out of such a terrible ordeal. Now, the American Red Cross is here at the scene, and they were providing temporary shelter and provisions for those who were left homeless as a result of this fire. And then we've uh, received word that the Yonkers mayor's office will provide hotel rooms for those who have been uh, displaced from their homes here. Meantime, the fire marshals, they've been on the scene all day trying to determine just what it was that ignited this horrific fire.